Let's take a look at these two problems. First one, we have 6 tenths times 10. We'll use a place value chart to help us with our work. We place 6 tenths into the place value chart. When we multiply by 10, those values get larger. So 6 tenths becomes 6 ones. And so we have 6 tenths times 10 equaling 6 ones. Much the same way, as we work for the other problem there, we have 6 hundredths. And when we take 6 hundredths and we multiply by 10, the digits will get shifted. So that we have 6 tenths. The objective is to reason concretely and pictorially using place value understanding to relate adjacent base 10 units. Here we have 0 0.06 times 10, also read as 6 hundredths times 10. Here we've written it out in number form, 6 hundredths times 10. 6 times 10 is 60, so we have 60 hundredths. Writing out 60 hundredths in standard form at 0 0.60. So our answer is 0 0.6 or 6 tenths. Notice that 60 hundredths can be written as 6 tenths. Okay, it's your turn to try. Use a place value chart if it will help you. Pause the video while you do your work. Here we made a place value chart to help us with our work. 7 tenths times 10, each of those tenths times 10 will give you 1. That's why 7 tenths times 10 is equal to 7 ones. Times 10 for a hundredths becomes a tenth. Look over your work. Here we have a place value chart. You'll notice that we're dividing by 10, dividing by 100, and dividing by 1,000. 7, when we divide it into 10 parts, we get 7 tenths which is written as 0 0.7. 7, when we divide it by 100, it becomes hundredths, or in seven hundredths in particular. We write seven hundredths as 0 0.07. Using our place value chart for our final one, when we divide 1, by a thousand, we get one thousandth. So that when we divide seven by a thousand, we get seven thousandths. Okay, it's your turn to try. Pause the video while you do your work. Use a place value chart if you need to. Did you get six hundredths for the first one? When we divide 6 by 1,000, we get thousandths. So we will put 6 in the thousandths place.
we have tens. First, let's place this into the place value chart. We have two ones, three tenths, six hundredths. When we multiply by ten, we multiply a ten, a one by ten, you get tens. So you'd have two tens. When you multiply the three tenths by ten, they become ones. And the hundredths by ten become tenths. So our new number, two tens, three ones, six tenths. So 2.36 or 2 and 36 hundredths times 10 is 23 and 6 tenths. In much the same way, we can multiply by 100. I'm going to have to make one more place value. So first we place 2 and 36 hundredths into the place value chart. The 2 is in the 1's place, the 3 into the 10's place, and the 6 into the 100's place. When we're multiplying by 100, each of those 1's would become 100. And there's 2 of them. The 10's become 10's, and the 100's become 1's. So 6 hundredths multiplied by 100 is 6 1's. And I'll write that a little bit more clearly. So our number that we come up with is 236. In much the same way, we can divide by 10, divide by 100, or divide by 1,000. It helps for us to think about a place value chart as we work with these numbers. Our first number is 378. When we divide by 10, our number gets smaller. The 1s would become tenths. The tens become 1s, and the hundreds become tens. So our number is 37 and 8 tenths. What do you think these other numbers are? Did you get that? 378 divided by 1,000, and that's 378 thousandths, which is written as 0 0.378. So this is how we can go ahead and multiply by 10, 100, or 1,000, and now we can divide by 10, 100, or 1,000, and how place value charts can help us with this.